Good afternoon. Uh, the red one? Yes. Um, I will present the, the test using gels for the cleaning of this contemporary wall painting, which was executed by uh, Capo Grassi, which is uh, one of the most important artists of the informal artistic movement in Italy. And uh, this painting is, um, uh, doesn't work. Sorry about that. <laughs> yes? Um, this painting is uh, um, developed in the double staircase of the Ironex Cinema Theatre in uh, Rome, Italy. And uh, it is uh, located um, uh, in the, in the, at the main entrance of this building, which is very particular because it's um, a building uh, um, developed seven meters uh, uh, under the, the street level and thus in a conservation way can be associated to an hippogeum. Um, this building was uh, planned by uh, Libera Montuori and by the engineer Leo Calini, which, for, which were uh, famous architects. Uh, the wall painting The wall painting, uh, which measures about 63 square meters, was performed between March and December of 1954. And it is a very important painting because it's a brilliant interpretation of the Capograssi sign in the new pop key. And uh, uh, it is one of the few abstract um, uh, wall paintings still in situ in Italy. And they represent the passage of uh, the artist in using the new synthetic paints. Uh, unfortunately, the, the Arona cinema and the painting too um, has a complex conservation history uh, because of the changing management and uses of the building for different purposes. Um, in 10 years, in fact, um, it, it will become um, a bar room, uh, a discotheque, a nightclub and even a street club. And, um, and after that, uh, it will fall into disuse to on nowadays. And after 55 years, uh, the Arona Cinema will become juridically restricted in the field of historical, artistic, and architectural heritage. But unfortunately, this is uh, uh, a good picture of, uh, from the Montuori archi archive of the original one almost finished. But uh, this is the, the painting right now. And the original decoration has been completely covered by synthetic coatings. Nine layers was developed over the upper ceiling of the double staircase and six over the lower ceiling. It was better before. <laughs> and um, I worked, as you can see by the scaffolding, um, on, the, on the lower ceiling on a sample area in a conservation project in 2016. Um, as you can see in this cross section, um, the six layers uh, overpainted um, were all um, synthetic paintings, and uh, um, as confirmed by FTIR, were all vinyl based, except for the closest layer to the original surface, which was an orchid brazen based layer. Um, the Capogrossi original technique was mainly based on polyvinyl acetate material um, and uh, you can see the cross section, the yellow and green uh, layers. So the, the main conservative pathologies for this mural painting was the malfunction of the roofing from the 80s due to the water ingress and the changing uses for different purposes. These two um, main conservative problems caused an accumulation of overpainted layers and the consequential aesthetic, chemical, biological and physical degradation. Uh, this is one uh, 
uh, picture of the lower ceiling uh, and the interaction of the water with the overpainted layers and with the original film beneath and a lot of damages caused by the water uh, as biological colonization, lacuna, swelling, mixing, loss of cohesion of the original layers. And uh, the overpainted layers uh, um, had this complex uh, um, softening of all the layers of, at first due to the water, then the, the loss of material like additives and surfactants, and, uh, and after the evaporation, the contraction and the massive deformation of all this layer, and uh, the consequential rip and the lamination of the region up beneath. Um, and, obviously flacking everywhere. And moreover, <laughs> uh, just because the, um, the original structure was made of concrete and the original priming was gypsum, basically, uh, and the original pigments and, color and colorants was based um, as additive, as gypsum as an additive um, in there, um, there was a lot of soluble salts and insoluble too, uh, that was uh, potassium, sodium, magnesium, and calcium sulfates as, detect as detected by X-ray diffraction. So, um, I will discuss in this, uh, at, the, at the moment, just the, the most um, problematic uh, um, layer to, to remove, uh, the swelling of the V of A plasticide polyvinyl acetate based layer, the removal of the residues of the other synthetic layers, also combined with the many accumulated salts, and the swelling of the alkyd resin based layer. The other layer were uh, removed with a peeling action um, altogether. And um, a small group of organic solvents and neurochelating agents were tested, first by swab and then with different gels. All, te all uh, chosen because they were all fairly transparent enough to monitor the, the swelling action. The problem to be solved in the application of the gel system uh, were carrying the mixture of organic solvents and orchelating agents, the correct adhesion to a really regular surface, and the, um, the adhesion on an inclined surface, and the, that the cleaning action need to be localized, uh, just because the adjacent layers to those being removed had similar solubility. So the gel selected were, um, sorry, well, uh, Clusel G, Agar, Fitgel, and Carbopol Ultra 21. And uh, um, they were applied uh, a lot of a solvent mixture selected by the Trisov system, which is basically um, uh, an interactive uh, software system which reproduces the T chart and allowed you, allows you to um, uh, uh, select different solvent mixture in polarity. And uh, I, I selected an area for the alkyd resin by the overlapping of the polyester area and the overlap of the uh, polymerized linseed area. And I did the same for the V of A polyvinyl acetate based layer. And, um, and the cleaning test and all the gel application um, results um, are that all the semi-rigid hydrogels were inappropriate due to the surface, the rough surface and inclined surface to the high viscosity. And um, the, the TAC solution were inappropriate uh, comparing to the solvent mixtures, uh, which uh, for the uh, removal of the V of A polyvinyl acetate base layer was, uh, the best solution was an ethanol and methyl ethyl ketone solution in a ratio in a ratio to uh, one to one, in a carbopole ultra 21 at 1% weight volume. So in this way um, was performed a combined cleaning action, removing all the accumulated soles and the, and, uh, uh, the, 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 the synthetic layer too. Uh, after that, it was the, um, the moment of the alkyd based layer, which was uh, um, basically composed by uh, extenders and pigments and was uh, very thick and difficult to remove. And uh, just because that, the, the, um, the best uh, solvent mixtures uh, was an ethanol, normal octane and methyl ethyl ketone solution in the 20 to 40 to 40 ratio. But uh, I decided to apply um, 
uh, to apply it without carbopore because uh, it was too uh, dangerous applying this solvent gel uh, just uh, with the adjacent polyvinyl acetate uh, original one just beneath. So I took a, a, a two-step process applying uh, at first carbopore ultra 21 as a complexing agent just to remove the bulk of all the inorganic compounds and just after that perfecting by swap with uh, the best solution uh, and in this uh, way it was possible to uh, accomplish a controllable cleaning action. So in conclusion, uh, I used the, uh, the most appropriate gel was Carbopol Ultra 21, but I used it at first to remove all the accumulated salts with the Veova uh, polyvinyl acetate base layer, um, like a solvent gel, like a proper solvent gel. And after that, I used it at first as a complexing agent, perfecting my cleaning uh, by swab for the removal of the alkyd base layer. Um, this was necessary uh, for uh, identify the appropriate cleaning system, but I want to specify that I, uh, on purpose, left a semi-transparent fail of the alkyd resin just to avoid the interaction with the original one, um, because it, it was a compromise, but um, it was useful for, uh, for the respect of the original. Um, thank you for all your attention. and. Um, I need to thank all my ISCR team.